Hey guys, it's Fortune88. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about how you should hold your mouse for long dragging. So basically, when you try to short drag, right, it's very different compared to long dragging because when you short drag, generally you grip your mouse towards the front or in the middle, right? Like this or like this. But when you long drag, you have to grip your mouse in the back to try to, I guess, maximize your long drags. So here, I'll show you what I mean. So this is the Rokat Cone XCD, right? And they have two side buttons. Usually I put my thumb underneath the last side button. So I'll put my thumb like right here and I'll put two of my fingers, right? My fourth finger and my fifth finger also towards the back. So generally when you want to long drag, right? You use this part of your finger. Here, I'll show it on the screen. And when you short drag, you usually want to use a tip. And also when you want to long drag, right? Basically you want to find the best area to start. So on all mice, basically you long drag differently because you start in different places. Here, I'll explain what I mean. So basically on your mouse button, right? You can only click in certain areas. So for example, on this XCD, I can't click right here, right? Because it simply this won't actuate. However, if I click next to, if I click right here, it can actuate, right? But if I click slightly back, it won't. So right here, this is where you should start your long drag if you have an XCD. So you have to figure out where you can and can't click. And so the boundary between like where you can click, like here and here, is basically the best area where you should start your long drag. So I will summarize once again. Generally, your thumb should be underneath your last side button. And your fourth finger and fifth finger should be towards the end of the mouse. So basically you're gripping your mouse like this, right? And you have to find the boundary where you can and can't click and basically start dragging from there. So I'll also talk about the other mice as well because not everyone has an XCD. So let's move on to the bloody A70. I usually grip in the same area, like underneath the last side button, though it's slightly towards the back. And I put my fourth and fifth fingers slightly up. You draw a line right here. Here, I'll, I'll show it on the screen. I place my thumb right here and I place my 4th and 5th fingers over there. So I have to mention that when you're long dragging, right, you bring your entire hand along with your fingers, right? It's like in this motion. And also, for the bloody A70, again, you have to find the boundaries between where you can and can't drag click. So can I click here? Nope. Can I click here? Yes, I could click right here. So you start your long drag right here. And generally, I suggest using electrical tape for most mice when you want to long drag because it is more consistent that way. So for the Rokat Kane 100, I basically do the same thing, right? Put your thumb underneath your last side button and slightly towards the back. You have your fourth and fifth fingers over here and you start right here. Yeah, I'm gonna put tape on this real quick. So I have to say that, of course, I'm not the most consistent at long dragging. So now let's say if you have the Model O. Again, put my thumb towards the back underneath the side button, right? So on the Model O, there's a logo. I just put my thumb on there. And I just put my fourth and fifth fingers over here. So with the Model O, it's slightly different. Basically, since you have a honeycomb design, you can't really drag click right here unless you have electrical tape and it's different. So I recommend starting your drag click right here. This area where, you know, there aren't holes. So I feel like with the Model O, you have to actually long drag faster when compared to the other mice here. And finally, let's talk about the Rokat Cone Pure Ally. So first, I put my thumb underneath the last side button. I put my fourth and fifth finger here. So then I find the boundary where you can and can't click. So can I click here? No. Can I click here? Yes, so that means I start my long drag right here. So as you can see when I'm long dragging, right, you can see my thumb moving up like this. So think as my thumb and my fourth and fifth finger as somewhat as hinges, right? So they're not staying in place, 
but they, they move when you long drag. So you can see my, my entire hands moving this way, right? You can see my thumb direction changing. You can see all these fingers moving. So in other words, you have to be fluid with your movements. Drag clicking isn't, I suppose, like a robotic movement in a sense, right? It's all very fluid, like water. So before trying to long drag, I suggest using electrical tape or at least paying some form of tape on your mouse because it'll make it more consistent to drag click. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, then please like and subscribe, it would help a lot.